I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, we're going to look at setting up two completely different sounding amps on the Boss GT1000 to add extra clarity to your guitar signal. Now, lots of well known guitarists do this. They'll have a variety of different amplifiers that they're going to be using live and in the studio. Now, sometimes they're going to be A Bing between those amps. So they'll have a switch and they'll be switching between amp A and amp B. Now, there's also going to be times, and certain guitarists use this a lot, where they use a variety of different amps and they blend them all together. So they'll have the glassy drive of say a Marshall Plexi and the mid scoop of a Fender amp. Now what we're gonna do in this video is to look at two different amps, setting them up on amp A and amp B on the GT1000. Now the reason we're doing this is to get the best out of both amps. So we're gonna have amp one, which is gonna be a glassy sort of trebly sort of sounding amp, which is not gonna have a lot of bottom end. And then we're gonna have Amp 2, which is gonna be an amp that's gonna have a lot more bottom end, it's not gonna have the clarity. Now, you blend these two together and it becomes the perfect sounding amp. So let's get to it. The first thing we're gonna do is to go to our divider. We click on the divider and we're gonna choose single mode. Now, in a minute, we're gonna change back to dual mode, but we're gonna set up both amps individually. And I'm gonna show you how to get the dynamics and the tone out of each amp. Now, what we wanna try and do is to have amp one to be like a really bright amp, with lots of clarity, almost too bright, and we want amp two to be almost too bassy. So we're gonna keep it on channel A, which is this amp here, gonna click on that amp. And at the moment, the amp we've got on there is transparent. Let's change that to X high gain. Now it is the high gain amp, but let's change the channel here, the gain switch back to low. Let's just turn up the gain just a little bit. And now that sounds like this. Next, let's turn the sag up just a little bit. I really think on the clean ramps, if you want it to sound more sort of natural, more sort of valve amp sort of style, turn the sag up just a little bit. I'm gonna keep the resonance where it is as I don't wanna add any extra bottom end to this as, as I said, this is gonna be the, the more sort of high end amp. Right, let's keep the level and the bass where they are, but let's just bring the middle up just a little bit and let's just give it just a tad more treble as well. Now, a lot of people get confused with treble and presence on an amplifier. I think you can sort of think of treble as your high mid frequencies and your presence as that real sort of top end glassy frequencies. So let's bring the presence up about halfway. And now that sounds like this. Now we've set up our first amp, let's click on the divider again and let's go to amp B and let's choose the X modded amp. Now I really think the X amps in the GT1000 are the ones to go for, I think they sound brilliant. Right, first of all, let's bring the game back. Sounds like this. Now this is the whole point of this exercise. My amp one is gonna be a really bright amp and my amp two is gonna be a really bassy amp. So that means all the high frequencies are gonna come from amp one and all the bottom frequencies are gonna come from amp number two. Right, again, let's bring the sag up. Right, so leave the resonance where it is. I'm gonna bring the level up a little bit on this one and bring the bass back just a little bit. The middle is more or less right, but let's just give it a tiny little boost. Now, even these little boosts really make a difference, even just increasing it by one or two. Right, and let's bring the treble back as this is gonna be our bassy amp. Bring it back to about 32. And let's bring the presence up a little bit. So as you can hear, this is not a very inspiring tone, but let's go back to our divider. Let's change it back to channel A. So we've got channel A that sounds like this. So a bit thin, let's go to channel B. And that's a bit too fat. Right now, if I bring it into dual mode.
Paul from the Studio Rats. I really hope you guys got something out of that. If you did get something out of it, don't forget to like and subscribe and click on the bell button and you'll be notified of any future video that comes out from the Studio Rats. Now, I am gonna be making this patch available for download. If you wanna to go to our website, which is thestudiorats.net and go to the downloads page, you can download it from there. I'm Paul and I'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.